In this class we will edit meshes, using some tools from the Mesh tab, Mesh Edit Panel. Open the available file and let's get started. Initially we will split a subface with the command Split Face. To make it easier to capture notable points, we have enabled the 2D wireframe viewing style. We trigger split face and select the face to be split. Then, with the aid of the nearest precision tool, we click on two random points on the edges of the selected face. Look, we have the split subface. We can merge subfaces with the help of the command merge face. We trigger the command and select the subfaces to be joined. We press enter and see the result, we merge the subfaces easily. Now we will use the command mesh cap, which creates a mesh face that connects open edges. Allowing to close existing holes or gaps in mesh objects, by selecting the edges of the mesh faces that surround them. To achieve better results, the faces must be in the same plane. We have triggered mesh cap and now we can alternately select the edges. Or make a chain selection, chain, which is very useful because it increases productivity and minimizes errors due to automatic selection of all edges. We type CH for the chain option and press enter. Then we click on one of the edges to select the string. See, we have a new mesh created from the selection. If we click on each edge alternately we get the same result. Let's now look at the mesh collapse, which merges the vertices of the mesh faces. We can use the vertices of surrounding mesh faces to converge in the center of a selected edge or face. We trigger mesh collapse, click on a mesh edge or face and ready, we get the vertices merged. We can convert meshes to solids and surfaces with the commands convto solid and convto surface. Note. We need to pay attention to some limitations, for example, it is not possible to convert a box of 3D solids that has been exploded. Here is an example of a solid that has been blown up and does not accept conversion. We have seen in this class some forms of editing knitwear, which will help in the modeling of these elements.